What's poppin' everyone? Welcome to another episode of Remember When. My name is Jose. With me today are my boys, Mirror Giants. Say what's up, guys. What? Damn it. What's Bragalacky, bro? <laughs> what's up, y'all? What's good, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry, You're man. You're disgusting. <laughs> sorry, accident. <clears throat> Let's get back to it. I'm oh, sorry, that caught me off guard. started and he was like, what's up? It's <laughs> just instant box. That caught me so off guard. <laughs> Keep it rolling. <laughs> Yo, President's Day has passed. President's Day has passed, man. Yeah. Who's your favorite president? Uh, ooh, I can't even think of any off the top of my head. Shoot. That's so terrible. Barack Obama, because he's black. Um, FDR was the one that, like, he was in a wheelchair, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was, was bad at it. Everyone loves FDR. He's like the Teddy Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, FDR. I was gonna say Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, he's about he's definitely probably the most badass. Wasn't he, Teddy Roosevelt the one that was in the Night at the Museum movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was he's, the, he's the, the guy figure with that the was like robust mustache. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. What was what were his like accomplishments? I think he served in like the the one of the wars. I remember he led like a regiment down like I think the Spanish American War, if I recall correctly. Okay. If I recall, I might be completely off, but I know he did serve in like a regiment and he had like dudes. Only reason I even know this because there's a show HBO show Deadwood, a dude named like Bullock. He's like a, he's like a sheriff for it, but he was connected with Roosevelt and actually served in his regiment, and it was pretty cool. It's pretty it's a pretty cool histor- historical fic- um not fiction historical accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, FDR's fake. Man was just hard ass when it came to policy. He wouldn't take shit for nobody. He was like, yeah, we're doing this. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Man, if you had asked like high school me, I would be able to like roll off like presidents, their accomplishments and all that because like U.S. history and all that stuff. But I, I don't remember anything. After now, U.S. Man. history too, that shit went whoop, yeah. right, right out went, that shit. Bro, we even go over like, I remember we would go over like, okay, yeah, of course, George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, whoever the fourth guy was or, or whoever the fifth guy was. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like we never really went towards like the like the thirteenth president. We never went to the fourteenth or like the fifteenth. We never, especially all the ones that just like died, like the ones who like died like a few months into office or like two years into office. We never talked about those what, dudes. Wasn't it Taft that got stuck in the bathtub? I know one of them, one of them was yeah, like he was so, so fat. fat. Man it was so fat. I think he got, it's probably like a I don't, I don't, maybe I think I heard it was like a myth or something. But if he did, that's. Don't be fat kids. See, <laughs> what I remember was, I don't know, I think it was Andrew Jackson where he had like them duels and he kept, just kept dueling people. Yeah. Like yes. all them old school duels. Bro, that's so hard. I know like he low-key fucked up a lot of people and they're like removing yeah, his tears. statues right now. But like back in the day, just to be like, you want a 50-50 flip on death? Yes. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Yo, grab the, the white uh, glove. Have at thee. <laughs> Yo. Have at the, have <laughs> the accuracy of them pistols because you just like... Psh- yeah, you gotta inside the foot box shit. Gotta... Be hoping to shoot, waiting. <laughs> Keep going. I'm running and beating you with a gun. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a dishonorable duel. Dishonorable, my ass, bro. Your ass will go to jail. <sighs> Fine. C- could you imagine if you go to like reach for the gun, that shit just falls down on the ground, and all then the middle of your door, you're just like, oh shit! All your gunpowder falls out. <laughs> you're just like, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's how Alexander Hamilton died, right? Like he died in a duel, dropping his gun. No, he just died in a duel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm 90% sure it was Hamilton. He died in a duel. <laughs> oh, I, I, thought, I thought you meant he did that dumb shit. I was about to yeah, say that. So, like that's so idiot. sad. I don't think it was straight up. Isn't it usually like you get shot and it's like, oh, damn, okay, you won. Oh, well, you get shot, bro. <laughs> you just die of infection. That's like 1800s, bro. Like, what, you could see a doctor and be like, okay, let's get this bullet removed. Oh, you got infection. You're dead. Bro, the doctor was like a 12-year-old that was just picking up the dirt and just packing that shit in, just being like, you got this. Yeah, you'll be fine. Call- <laughs> Take these and call me when you're better. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the ducks do this to their young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, when the last resort was amputation. Ugh. Ugh. Damn. Hey. And then, you know, the dirt just gets so moisturized. You have to dig out all the dirt so you can replace more dirt. Remember when they, I think they would say they would even put like uh, maggots in your thing. Like they would put that in your Nigga, like, that's your for dead flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would put that in your, like, in your flesh. Like you ain't getting shot and they're just like, yeah, maggots. <laughs> <laughs> put some maggots in there. <laughs> but they would do that. They would do that. Jesus. That, that sounds awful. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if like you got shot and I just ran up with like a bottle of A one steak sauce and just poured that shit in there, being like, "Don't no, worry, you're gonna get that." That's totally I'm different. just saying. That's I'm just totally saying. Different. Different. Yeah, no, it sounds ridiculous. Maggots that's in A one steak sauce. <laughs> yeah. Trying to eat is what you're. No, you're wild. <laughs> trying to eat me. <laughs> I'm not even dead yet. Maggots eat dead flesh. <laughs> 
Oh, so wait, that's why they would put it yeah, on there. Yeah, like it's <laughs> not oh, okay. harmful if you ha- it looks nasty because usually it means it's a dirty wound. Mm. And that's why they're all over it because there's just so much dead flesh and you just let that shit rot. Mm, got you. Nasty. Yes, so that, that's how they would recover people. Well, that- it, if you don't want to remove it by hand and then you just got a, a shaky hand man trying to carve out but your But like they skin. had maggots on deck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Keep it on deck. If it was training, it was like practice, especially back in the day. If once people say like, okay, hey, maggots can actually help out in this process. Doctors would be like, okay, yeah, get a jar of maggots on standby. <laughs> like just in case. Plus bloodletting was super popular back in the day. Yeah, so they the probably also had, uh, that's where you basically make different incisions or cuts on your body and you let the blood just flow. Now, they, like, they, 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 you remove a certain amount and the belief back in the day was you're getting rid of a portion of the sickness yeah. because it's blood related. But the thing is you lower your blood amount your body doesn't work as well with less volumes of blood and then you usually die or you have a worse time fighting infection so Mm. they'd have leeches as well to bloodlet jesus you're living back in the day sounds right awesome right it's so great living in medieval times you watch game of thrones you want to be that knight till you get stabbed in a horse race and then you just die of sepsis or something can't wait i love that (laughs) oh god this literally sounds terrible. Uh, sounds great. Lo- uh, shout out medication and he- medical, just public health, all that. Shout out to germ theory. To what theory? Germ, germ theory. theory. What's germ theory? That was the theory where it's like, okay, there's actually germs. And like that's when they finally came down to theory like, okay, there's actually living things that make us, and bacteria that makes us sick. Like you shall wash your hands before you like operate on my mouth, dentist wise. Yeah. Instead of just like, oh, the demons got you while I was Before operating you with dirty your hands. Ass after drinking your three beers in the morning from the fucking club. <laughs> so you said they would go from like, this is Satan's fault to being like, oh, no, you actually you have practically. Yeah, especially in the medieval times. Most of the time be like, oh, you're having a fever. You definitely sinned in your life. <laughs> <laughs> or Hippocrates, because Hippocrates, which niggas hype up all the time, he's like, oh, yeah, there's different phlegms in your body. There's black phlegm, yellow phlegm, yeah. green phlegm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Depending yeah. on the phlegm is your type of sickness and what you need to do to remedy it. You need to have balance. Balance. <laughs> if you're imbalanced. Nigga, that's why you're dying. You're imbalanced. So, wait, they would color code diseases. Yes. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Imagine you just had some dried blood in your nose. You just <sighs> black phlegm. <laughs> Couldn't even imagine like going to a CVS and filling out a health form. It's like, yeah, my shit coming out purple. They're like, ah, oh, we got the, we got you. <laughs> On the intake, do you believe in God? No, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Hell uh, no. That's cray. Cray, cray. Cray, cray. cray, cray. That's sick. That's bodacious. <laughs> Ew! What you just <laughs> Nigga, I just threw that out of my head, bro. I don't know. That's like eighties. That was so unnatural. That was eighties, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite slang? Uh, ooh, favorite. That's tough. I mean, uh, I mean, you, you guys right now. I always say like, "What's up?" or "What's popping?" Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's pretty, pretty uh, simple. Is, is what you call it kind of slang? Like what you call it? Look at that. Oh, I get what you're saying. Like when you say it as like one whole yeah. word, it's like when I can't say it, when I can't remember one thing, I'll be like, oh, what the hell? That's real reasons? old slang. Yeah, what you, mm-hmm. oh, no, what you call it? Like, what's the thing? Like, I always, I always say that. <laughs> whatever the language. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck. <laughs> That's my new one. <laughs> oh, man. I remember, you know, so when people say it's, you know, brick outside or whatnot, or it's brick, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's cold, right? Yeah. I brick. remember I had went to, this was in college. It was, I forgot what conference it, it was. Like, it was either the one in Ohio or Arizona. But anyways, I had went to, like, a conference out there and won the sessions. You had to do, like, a group thing. And, that, like, you know, so we were all chatting and whatnot. They said, oh, yo, it's it's kind of cold. I was like, yeah, it's break out. They were like, what the fuck did you say, right? <laughs> like, looked at me, like, genuinely confused. I was like. Yeah, you're like you're right. It's cold outside. They were like, "That's not what you said, though." I was like, "Oh yeah, it's it's brick." And they're like, "What do you mean by that?" I said, <laughs> "It's cold." <laughs> and they like they didn't believe me. They thought I made, was making that up, bro. It was crazy. Like they literally didn't believe like that. That's what that meant. To be fair, I did not use that type of language until I moved back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I definitely like feel New like York that's based. yeah, definitely like a tri-state area, I mm-hmm. guess more yeah. or less. Yeah, 
But that that was one of those ones where like people would like they literally thought that I was making shit up, bro. <laughs> it was no. crazy. I mean, I get it, right? Like, how does brick fucking equal? Yeah, cold? I mean, brick you know? is like hard, so it's like, oh, it's cold. I'm hard. Like, <laughs> I'm hard. That's like got different connotations nowadays. Like, but yeah, I get, <laughs> I get what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter, you sick psychos. But I remember another one of my favorite ones is John. Like, hey, look at that John over there. Hey, that John, that John over there. Like, you know, that's Philly. That's classic Philly slang. But I remember I went to uh, when I went to Bonnaroo down in Tennessee on uh, I think like 2022. I remember I was like in the middle of a concert. And I was like just talking to like random folks. It's like probably the best thing you can do at a music festival is just talk to random people because literally you'll just hear slang out of nowhere. It's like, okay, I don't even know where the hell that came from. But I, I'll walk up to these two dudes and I was like, yeah, I was, uh, I was moving that John over there. And they're like, John, John? Like John, is there a guy named John? I was like, no, John. J oh shit, these are Tennessee. These are Tennessee people. <laughs> and they're like, no, that um, I'm, I'm from up north. That North. thing. That thing over there. And he's like, oh yeah, this guy's definitely from up there. He's got an accent too. And I'm like, I got an accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's always so funny hearing that. It's crazy. They're like, you and your foreign accent being like, I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, I'm literally from New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what's funny? Because you know like how different places like have different cultures. Like some people might be behind, like the 70s might pop up here and then it pops up way later in a different country. Mm. Imagine if you went to Bonnaroo and they just we're still in the 90s. Raise the roof. <laughs> yeah, where's the... <laughs> Raise the roof. Are you acting... You're looking pretty groovy there, man. Like, bro, <laughs> that outfit is fat. <laughs> Tubular, bro. <laughs> you know, I, I can't say the last time I've actually ever heard somebody say fat with like a PH. Like, I know. I, I literally, it's been so long. The yeah. last time I seen that was in Johnny Test when like Bling Bling Boy was being like, yo, I'm fat. <laughs> or no, Johnny got fat. And he's like, yeah, I'm fat boy. Uh, something in your toy. <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> That's the last time I ever had anything fat related. I've never heard a dude in, in like, unless they're being ironic, say like fat. <laughs> I feel like that uh, was fake. <laughs> it, was, it was like created by like, it was like some group of white people. They're like, yo, we got to come up with our own thing. We can't say nigga, so we got to say fat. <laughs> like, oh, that's fat. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I know we both say what's up very frequently, but yeah. it's what's up that's like 90s. What's yeah. up? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. screen joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Scary movie. Square, what's up? Oh, yeah. like that. You gotta have the talk. <laughs> you have to have the talk. Y'all yeah. remember ownage or ponage? I mean, it's more like two that like two thousands, but like ownage and ponage. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you just got pwned. I man. never said that in a real conversation in my life. I did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's back in like elementary school when I'd be in the when I'd be playing kickball. I, I kick in, I hit a kid in the face. I'd be like, yeah, this got pwned, bro. <laughs> I played a lot of Call of Duty back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we should probably skip. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll skip over the slurs and shit. So. <laughs> you grew up in the 90s. You know what we're talking about. 90s and 2000s, y'all know. Y'all know the good ones. <laughs> that shit's whack or that shit's uh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, hey, y'all laughing because you know I'm right. <laughs> and no one's gonna clown you for it. <laughs> we all did it. <laughs> it's a different time, people. <laughs> I was like, like, I didn't think he say it. <laughs> Back then, gay meant happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the excuse people try to make. <laughs> well, the Flintstones said it. it that's what the Flintstones theme song says. They know what the fuck it means. They know what the fuck it means. Well, mean? Bill Clinton said it. He said a lot of things, bro. <laughs> he said he did. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> I can't with you, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's oh, that's how, hilarious. How about Shawty? My shawty. shawty. Yeah, actually, I like that one. Shawty got a melody in my head and I can't keep up. I love that song. Mm. Classic, man. Don't and y'all still say tight? That's, yeah, that's tight. That's tight. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, it rolls really, off the to be tongue honest. pretty easy. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, that's, that's a good tight. one. We need to bring that back. That's tight. My pants? Man, that's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It, it's going to instantly devolve. Fuck that. No, leave it in the past. It's cool. Sorry. I, yeah, it's we cool. live in a culture that thinks about like dick and pussy 99% of the time. Cool. We can't say nothing that Nick, like. Why you have to talk about your pants though? Yeah. <laughs> Because everybody does. Just, you sound like the worst rapper on the streets. My pants yeah. tight. 
<laughs> my pants be tight, causing me fright. Uh, <laughs> hey, there we go. Come on, watch out for my mixtape coming ever. <laughs> Is it socially appropriate to still say that's pimping? That's pimping. I, I, I say pimp. pimp. I think. I, I think like. Pimping. I think like that's. Well, I I don't know if I really say this to be honest, but like that's bitching. Bitching. Like, bitching. Yeah. Yeah. Bitching. I can still appreciate a bitching. Mm-hmm. If we had adult Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo would be saying bitching. Did he yeah, say, bitchin'. No way. Yeah. He did he say did. it in the movie. In the he movie. Said, yeah. He said bitching. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. We need to bring that back. <laughs> bitching. I forgot. Yeah, bitching. <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> bitching. Hell yeah, man. I think uh abbreviations is what got me a lot like growing up. Like, because especially that was the rise of like text. I guess not even slang, but like text abbreviations or whatnot. Mm, like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, half that, half the time, I'd be like, I'm trying to think of what this shit means, but like, because like so, some of them, like at least like when I was younger, I was like, what the fuck? Like T T Y L, right? Mm. Talk to you later, right? Mm. Now, now that's like a common one. Like I get that, but the first time I saw it, I was like, what the? Uh, you too. <laughs> Bro, I, I, yeah. Someone brought like type me. Cracking the fuck up only in abbreviation. I didn't know what that meant. And I didn't know I, what that so meant I for you. I thought like they cussed me out, and I dead ass responded in the worst way. <laughs> and they were like, "Bro, this is what it means." I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Like back then, like it did you like you weren't like doing like a quick Google with your phone, you know, just figure out what they were sending you. Mm-hmm. So it was just like either you you looked at it and you were like, "I gotta figure this out later today." Hop on the family, <laughs> you know, computer <laughs> and glue it up. I remember one dude sent me, and this is back when I had a flip phone, so I was like, yeah, I, I use abbreviations all the fucking time. So I'll be like, "LOL, lemon, 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 lemon all that kind of shit." But then mm. someone sent me I I R C, and I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Like, I don't even know what that means. And then it took me like literally two years later to finally realize, "Oh, that means if I recall correctly." How was I supposed to know that, bro? I would be like, I'm, I'd be confused. Like, why can't you just say it? Like, I think, just say hey. <laughs> fucking stupid, bro. I hate that word. I I R C T H I N K. Too many words, bro. Too many letters. It's just like, <sighs> bro, at that point, like you're putting like whole sentences into like four letters. Like if I said like LGB, uh, LGBK, like let's get Burger King. <laughs> like, why can't I just type that shit out, bro? <laughs> like, There's definitely been like a friend group that only communicated like that. Like, oh, let's uh, 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 pee pee poo poo. <laughs> no, P P O. Please put, I don't know, operation. I, I don't know. I'm fucking up, bro. You federal <laughs> as hell if you speaking in acronyms like that, bro. Mm-mm. I'd be a horrible undercover cop, bro. <laughs> you really would be, bro. Yeah. But it's okay. Um, I'm on the down low. Yeah, I'm more about shooting people. What about like fly like a G6? Who said that? That was that was uh what was it Wasn't what was that, that one that song? song? Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. off a song. It was G6. Yeah. That's all what fly it was. like a G6. Fly like a G6. Who's saying that? Was that Black Eyed Peas? No, no. Was that uh, LMFAO or it could or, be LMFAO or, or what is it? No, uh, that might have been the, that Far East Movement group. That's gonna yeah, be yeah, that's yeah. I'm, yeah. Pretty, I'm pretty sure yeah. right. Far East Movement. Yeah, yeah. Fly like a G6. What the fuck is a G? Yeah, Far East Movement and the Cataracts. I knew yeah, it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. You, you knew that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, you actually knew that. You did good. Damn. Someone. Oh, okay. So someone who was they cool. have they had other songs that was popular. I remember that. Oh, I never the knew that. other song that, G- that thing the where one. they're like fly. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Rocketeer. Up, up. Here we go. Yeah, that. Yeah. I never knew that. G six is short for Gulfstream G six fifty, a luxury private jet plane. Wow. Didn't know until now. That's crazy. Now everybody knows, especially if you never knew. That shit is definitely more recent. Yeah, probably. Too, it was definitely more too. All I think is like paper planes. <laughs> mm. Paper planes. What? Get high like paper. Get high like or whatever. If you come around, hey, I'll make a boy's day. Soldier boy saying that. All I want. You. Do is- <laughs> you. <laughs> oh wait. What? What about? What about swag? Hey, swag is. You know what swag is? Swag is eternal. That's definitely two thousands. Uh, yeah, but that's eternal. Wait, no. Yeah, swag. Soldier boy. Soldier boy say swag first. Show my swag on. Oh yeah, get my swag on. <laughs> get my swag on. I'm definitely sure swag might have de- definitely been before '90s, Let's if see. not '80s. Okay, oh, yeah, so, well, a Middle English and sensing bulging bag, probably Scandinavian origin. <laughs> that's the wrong kind of swag. Yeah, that's the worst. So that's the that's the wrong swag. <laughs> don't say swag bag. 
You remember when uh, people would, I mean, they like made it as an acronym. They were like, secretly, we are gay or whatnot. So oh, people, so, so swag. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so because some people would write down like, or they'd be like, yo, I, I like your swag. They're like, oh, you're gay. <laughs> That's literally what I see. The word swag began in the 1960s as, a, as an acronym for secretly, we are gay. Yep, and then wow. how we made it into what it is, not sure. Because we kept making fun of gay people, so <laughs> that shit came back. <laughs> it's like the opposite of gay. Went from happy to be fun, <laughs> to being gay. Just be like... <laughs> <laughs> we made all this progress just for niggas to bring it back like these. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. But one thing is that will always be eternal is homie. What's the homie? Yeah, I feel like I, I still say that too. Yeah, everybody yeah. says that. Everybody's just like, "What's up, homie?" Yeah, nothing wrong with homie. Well, especially like nowadays with like, um, you don't want to, what is it, uh, assume people's genders or whatnot. Yeah. So like, homie is usually that neutral term. I mean, I guess like you could say it's a little bit more lean towards like masculine, but honestly, I say that to everybody. Everybody's a homie. Yeah, yeah exactly. Everybody's a nigga. Yeah, everybody's a nigga. Everybody's a homie. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, which one called booyah? Only first I heard that say, say, say that was Cyborg. So booyah? I, yeah, booyah! Yeah, booyah! Or boo oh, shakalaka! Yeah. Bro, that sounds like it originated in the WWE. <laughs> I thought boom shakalaka was a uh, NBA. Maybe, probably. Yeah, I thought, I think so. It has to be. Or I might be wrong, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I was born in the 2000 people, don't fucking judge he me. He said it has to be, or I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it could, it should. It should. Or it might be just fake news, you know, I, I just fed fake shit. <laughs> Don't believe anything I'm I come out uh, my mouth. What was the other one? The bomb.com. That's oh, the bomb. The bomb. Yeah, yeah. Definitely two thousands. That's that's the bomb, yeah. That's that's actually that's really 2000s? good. Two thousands? Yeah, because that's when dot com. No way, was bro. That's nineties. Actually, yeah, late nineties, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bomb.com. That was when the dot com bubble was going around. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. What about uh the whenever people would sign your shirt, they would say hags on it? Have hags? a great summer. Ha oh yeah. yeah. I never understood that. <laughs> <laughs> that yes. shit definitely didn't pop up in Hawaii. No, you guys never had like had like a uh, was it field day? That's what they were called in like yeah, Eleanor but ain't nobody school. wrote hags like, on my shit. Like field day, and then they would uh you know people would like write on your shirt, and that would be like your end of the year, end of the like mem like your memory of the year. No, nah, the only thing I remember people writing my yearbook is like, hey Johnny, I hope you become nicer. <laughs> See you next summer. <laughs> I'm I not hope lying. you smile next year. I hope you're nicer next year. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have I hope you stop being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hope you <Jesus>. talk. <laughs> what were you doing? I was a dickhead In back your then. your yearbook. I was what? a dickhead. <laughs> Especially in fifth grade, I was a dickhead. <laughs> so hey, I got, man, how oh you understand God. the lesson? Don't talk to me. Thank you. <laughs> what is a kid I didn't fuck with, so I didn't really care. Uh, every other kid was cool. Jesus, Johnny. <laughs> if Hawaii Johnny stayed in Hawaii, he would have been a different man. You think so? Probably would have been dead. But it's okay, you know. Probably. That, probably. That's why we in this timeline. Would have a corpse, you know, some some maggots yeah. covered in mangoes. Got hags on my shit. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People come to my funeral. Hags. <laughs> hags. Oh my God, his swag in the coffin. The if swag. somebody comes up my coffin and writes <laughs> swag on my shirt. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna write swag on your coffin, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Can't wait. It's Niggas be will week. never know what it means, bro. Will you? Would you haunt them forever, or would you be like, or would you give them all your blessings? I mean, if there's nothing cool in heaven, and I could do is haunt people, I guess. Yeah. You think you're going to heaven? Stop. Yeah, I'm going to hell. <laughs> We just talked about how you don't know anything about the Bible. <laughs> Would you make a deal just to haunt people instead of eternally burn? Yes. Yes. That's an easy deal. Yes. Happily. <laughs> just torment him. What do you do? Move all his utensils every morning. Ooh. You get 30 seconds of touching physical objects. <laughs> Wait till his wife's in the room. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Okay, right. All right. I hope Johnny dies last. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. This nigga gonna be a menace. Nice. I mean, if ghosts were real, that's what they would do You're all the like time. You're like Casper's uncles. <laughs> Yo, this guy's they would wild. do worse. They were, they were wild. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they would do worse. They doing. would do. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have to cut you off. <laughs> 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 the moment some shit happens, I'm burning sage, all that. <laughs> That's why I'm glad ghosts ain't real. Oh my gosh. 
So let us know in the comments what other slang words were popular that you used a lot growing up. And, uh, you know, we'll give you a shout out. We'll mention it next episode and we'll, we'll rate it, yeah. you know, out of one through 10 out of like how great of a slang word it is. Give us some good ones. Slurs included. We'll say we'll say them on air. That Johnny would embrace it. <laughs> he heavily <laughs> encourages it. Heavily encouraged to do it. <laughs> that, don't do it, please. <laughs> please. Think about the children. Think about your grandma. Would your grandma want you to be seeing that? Whole comment section just muted and <laughs> fucking censored. And word and word. <laughs> Just different abbreviation for the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that wraps up this episode of Remember When. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. And as always, we appreciate you. Be safe. Be beautiful. And as always, be in remember. <laughs> I had no idea where I was going with that. I like lost my train of thought. You I was like, as me. always. <laughs> Stay uh, tubular, y'all, and be bodacious. Bodacious. And stay uh, wicked. Yeah, a Joe, uh, cut that shit to, like, whatever makes sense for that Keep one. Keep it tight. Uh, <laughs> stay groovy. Stay mondo. What, for the ending? Uh, no, you, you can just... No, you, you can you can just cut that shit to some part that, like, makes sense. <laughs> Bro, I tried, and uh, he kept it. Because <laughs> yeah, I had no idea where I was going with Keep that. It. I was like, cut that and shot. I was like, Keep it. Bro. Keep it. We're still going. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when is a sweet recording production. Check them out at suite recording.com. Intro and outro created by our very own Johnny. Subscribe, listen, and remember to review wherever you are on social media. Thanks for listening. <laughs>